Hello everyone, uh, brothers and sisters. Uh, today's a new encouragement. Last time I talked about in my video on restoring relationships about how Jesus taught me that number one thing you must do is ask yourself or see if Jesus was in my situation, would he be experiencing the same thing I'm experiencing or would the outcome be the same? And if the answer is no, then look to yourself to solve it and how Jesus would res resolve you know, the conflict or what he would do and of course to know this you don't try to figure it out with your mind you ask him you pray to him and say lord what would you do and as he reveals to you what he would do you do it that's kind of the only way to do it um and so the second thing that god shared with me over that period of you know going through difficulties and problems and praying and uh and of course these lessons took me a while to fully implement so if you're listening to this and you're just going and binge watching my videos and you're like, you know, this is cool, this is a nice thought, this is reality for me. This took me months to put into practice before God teaches a new lesson to me. And then it took me months to implement that one before God taught me a new lesson. So if you've heard the first one, you know, dwell on it for a while. Try to implement it. Uh, see and ask yourself constantly before you listen even to this part two video until that one is fully accomplished in your life don't go on to this one there's no point um, but if you want to listen through them I mean go ahead God bless you so the second lesson that God taught me uh, was this that to not do anything for the sake of the other person ever because it's it when you're doing something for the sake of another person it always comes with the expectation of their reaction or how they will you know how they're gonna feel or you're doing it to make them feel better and if you do something it doesn't make them feel better you feel disappointed like you did it for nothing so the freedom I received when I was praying one day and I felt like God spoke to me and said don't do anything for the sake of your wife do things for the sake of me and now let me clarify what that meant to me when he said that to me Doing things for the sake of God, meaning meaning not doing anything for the sake of my wife, for example, this is just a specific example. It could be the same thing with your father or you know anyone for that matter who you have relationship difficulties with or had relationship difficulties with. Um, to do things for the sake of God is to do this. You say, Lord, what do you desire me to do towards this person? And of course, you know that God desires you to love the person because that's um, God's universal desire for all people is to walk in love. And you say, Lord, how can I show love to this person? It is essential that you ask God how you can show love because if we try to show love with our own way, it's not going to be love because we can make so many mistakes in showing love. Sometimes the best love you can show is to stay away from that person's life and not try to control it and not try to come and resolve issues sometimes the best way we can show love is the opposite is by coming in and finding out what they're going through and you know uh, having them share with you and listen to them sometimes it's to give advice sometimes it's to be very soft and understanding and like you know giving them a shoulder to cry on other times it's to be very stern and bold and say stop doing this what's wrong with you and that would change them because that's what they need at the moment and it's very difficult I'd say even impossible for a human to figure out what is needed in that situation because we don't see the person's heart it says in the Bible who knows the person's heart but the spirit within him and God you know nobody else does even the person himself doesn't always know his heart usually doesn't they're usually wrong about what they want and need only the Spirit and God know the heart. So it is essential that you ask the Spirit and receive from the Spirit what you should do. But once you have received this and the Lord shows you what you should do, you know, uh, with my wife it was, you know, maybe to make her some breakfast in the morning or um, to do something special for her. Now I do this not for her sake. I don't really care how she's going to react. I don't care if she doesn't react at all. I don't care if she reacts negatively. I don't care if she reacts positively. It doesn't matter how she reacts because I'm not doing this for her. I'm doing this to her, but not for her. I'm doing this for God, right? I'm doing this to her for God because that's what God wants me to do. 
and this way all your expectations are gone you're not doing it because you're expecting some kind of response from the person because you want the person to feel differently because people might often not respond correctly but you will feel 100% satisfied because you did exactly what you know God wanted you to do you did exactly what he was expecting you to do and you showed love in the exact way that God asked you to show love and so this second lesson was very freeing for me because it freed me of expectations of a reaction. I no longer gauged myself by the person's reaction or by how he or she reacts, how my father reacts when I speak to him or do something to him, how my wife reacts when I speak to her or do something for her because it doesn't matter. What matters is I pleased God in what I did. I showed love in the way that God wanted me to show love to this person. and. Uh, and this is not to say that I disregard everything she tells me and all this stuff because God's going to tell me what to do. No, sometimes she would share something with me and say, you know, it makes me feel happy when you do this and that. And I would listen to it and pray about it and God would show me, yeah, this does make her happy. Go and do this thing that she shared with you together with her, you know. Uh, so it's it doesn't mean I disregard or don't care about the person or it's no longer... Um, I, I'm now this prideful man who says, you know, I got it all figured out with God, so I don't need your involvement in my showing love to you because it's just between me and God. No, not at all. Uh, you still involve yourself with the person, listen to the person, seek out what, what is better for the person. But as you receive this new information and it goes by you, you ask the Lord and say, Lord, is this what you desire also? And if the Lord says yes, then you do it, you know. And you do it because, again, the Lord wants you to, not because the person told you. And even if they told you something and you go and do it, and it comes off wrong, and they misunderstand you, you tell them, I, I did my best, and it doesn't affect you, because before the Lord, you know your heart is clean, and you did, in the best of your ability, what the Lord showed you to do, right? And if you, there's any weakness and you fail, you just say, Lord, you know, I'm... I'm not perfect and I did what I was capable of and I need your help because without you I can't do anything perfectly so next time please help me do it correctly so that the person will take from it exactly what you want to take from it but again help me not to gauge myself or gauge my situation by the person's reaction but by you what do you think of it let me go off of that and if the Lord thinks badly of what you did you repent and say Lord you showed me something else I did it my way and ruined everything forgive me uh, help me to do it perfectly the way you want me to and so this is the second lesson in restoring relationships is doing things not for the sake of the person but doing things for the sake of God and for what God desires you to do for them all right uh, may God bless you guys and may this be an encouragement in applying this in your life so that you may have better relationships a relationship based on love based on you know self-giving in a way that isn't expecting anything back unconditional self-giving the way jesus did it so uh, have a blessed day paul with you bye-bye